Good afternoon, Panthers. Today is Monday, May 13th, and you are watching The Forest Fire. Welcome to the forest fire. Khan interviewed Ms. Rue about her upcoming trip to the Caribbean. Let's see what she had to say. Hi, I'm Khan. I'm here with the academic interview, and I'm interviewing Ms. Rue today about her upcoming trip to the Caribbean. Um, my first question is, how did this opportunity first present to you? Um, well, I actually am a member of a listserv for marine science teachers, and it's called Scuttlebutt, and it just came across the listserv on my email. Okay, and uh, will you be uh, traveling to numerous places in the Caribbean, or will you be remaining stationary in one area? Okay, well actually we're going to start in Galveston, Texas, and we're going to um, get on at the end of some research being done in Galveston, and then we're going to transit from Galveston to the Bahamas, and we'll be looking at two places in the Bahamas. One is called the Bahama Escarpment, the other is called Exeter Sound. So two places around a town called Eleuthera. Okay, and um, what kinds of marine life would you be observing? That's what I'm really excited about. We don't know. This is an exploration trip, so we're actually going to see what's there. We're going to be going out with a shark ecologist from the Bahamas, and hopefully he'll be able to show us some things that we don't know about already. Okay, and is there any way for our students here at Carolina Forest to get involved? Absolutely. You can go to the website nautiluslive.org when I'm out this summer, August 2nd through the 17th, and you can actually watch as we are in the command center on the ship as we are viewing things for the first time, you'll be seeing them as well, and you can hear us talking about it, and you can type in questions, and um, we can answer them in real time. So it's going to be really cool. All right, thanks for your time, and it's back to you guys in the studio. Let's go check out the inbox. The Media Center will be closed on Thursday from 11.30 to 3.20 for the reading celebration. Senior attendance makeup school is today. All seniors who plan on attending need to be in A101 no later than 3.30. Seniors who still have excessive absences may stay after school in A101 between May 13th through the 24th. Please bring work to do and see Mr. Baxley for any questions. FBLA will be having their final meeting of the year Tuesday, May 14th during lunch in Mrs. Gore's room. There will be lunch served. All senior picnic forms and senior gift payments are due no later than Friday. Turn them into Ms. Hamilton ASAP. I think it's time to pass over to Alexis for our weather forecast. Hi Carolina Forest, I'm Alexis here with the Forest Fire Forecast. There will be a high of 71, a low of 47. It's mostly sunny with a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow is also a 0% chance of rain and a high of 70. Thanks, and back to you guys in the studio. Thanks Alexis. Let's hand it over to Nancy and Josh with CO Sports, but first let's watch this short message. You see that girl over there? She's feel weird. Oh my gosh, she's watching the class by herself. What a weirdo. You can't stop looking at me, staring at me. Be what I be. You can't stop looking at me. So get up by my face. Do you have any questions? So I heard Anthony cheated on you. What'd you do? I dug my key into the side of his pretty little souped up four wheel drive. Bobby, wake up. Don't wake me up, 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 up. Don't wake me up, 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 up. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, what's up? So, like, yesterday at the zoo. What um, is that? That was Lily Pulitzer. That was ugly. I don't care. I love it. Hi guys, I'm going to class. Bye, 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 bye. Hey Carolina Forest, welcome to CF Sports. Let's catch up with Bo who interviewed Miss Henson about track. Hi, I'm Bo and I'm here with Miss Henson to talk about track team. So who all went to the state track this weekend? Um, we had two athletes, um, Lisa Pitchersay, she actually is at the Scholars Academy, um, and also Christina Wright. And how did they do? They did really well. Actually, Christina tied for third in the high jump. She jumped five feet, four inches, 
which is uh, right here for me. Um, she tied the school record, so that was very good. And she's also all state in the all state um, high jump. And then um, Lisa came in first in the two miles. She ran 11 minutes and 17 seconds, and she's also in the all state um, with, with the two miles. So very proud of our athletes. Oh, wow, that sounds good. Uh, anything else you would like to say? Yes. Um, so for all the track athletes who actually finished the year, um, we are having our track banquet this Thursday afternoon um, in the cafeteria around 4 o'clock. So make sure you bring your uniforms and we'll try to have a little fun. Well, thank you. Thank Back you guys in the studio. Now it's time to get an update with your sports inbox. Congratulations to Lisa Petrisi for getting gold in the 4A class in a 3,200 meter run with a time of 11, 17, 53. Also, congratulations to Christina Wright for third in high jump with a jump of 5'4", which tied the school record. Senior Legion baseball tryouts will be today at 6 o'clock at Conway High School. Guys, if you want to play against the varsity volleyball team, see Ms. Drew in E111. The game will be held Wednesday. Now for your NBA updates. Pacers beat the Knicks and now the series is 2-1 in the Pacers' favors. Grizzlies also beat Thunder to have the series 2-1. Golden State Warriors beat Spurs this weekend to tie the series 2-2 in overtime. Miami will play the Bulls tonight as the series is 2-1 in Miami's favor. That's it for your sports report. Let's pass to Mercedes with your Monday Entertainment. Hey everyone, I'm Mercedes and I'm here at Entertainment Weekly. Today is Music Monday. This week's top selling albums are Life on a Rock by Kenny Chesney, To Be Loved by Michael Buble, The 2020 Experience by Justin Timberlake, Side Effects of You by Fantasia, and The Heist by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis hit Can't Hold Us rises to number one on the Billboard list Hot 100, becoming the pair's second number one hit. Thrift Shop reigns at number one for six weeks, and this is the first duo to take its first two singles to number one. That's it for today. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you all for tuning in today's broadcast. Until then, stay on the prowl, Panthers.